Minyata Brittany, and this is my presentation on visual, how visual thinking in black life. The purpose of the research is to understand a work of art as a product of visual thinking and to accomplish this several tasks were completed such as the analysis of material, index and iconical signs. Here we have the painting, The Oat of the Karate. It was painted by Jacques-Louis David. In analyzing the compositional schemes, I found that I only have one compositional scheme because this, was, this one was most productive for me in bringing across the idea of the painting. It can be seen that there is balance on both sides of the painting. The use of the lemon escape, um, it shows the balance on both sides of the painting. Um, there's a recurring triangular pattern. The stance of the men form a triangle. We can see where the women leaning on each other also form a triangle. And here we can see another triangle. It, the triangular pattern gives it a more dyna not dynamic form and makes the images more coarse. And in the background here, there is one more sphere hidden in the darkness. I believe that this sphere is a visual concept of death. It lies in the shadows, I'm seeing and waiting, and one has to look closely to see it. This um, character right here has a more pronounced helmet than the other two. I believe that this is a concept of leadership, as he's the leader of their group. And the iconic signs. When looking at a work of art, we subconsciously make connections in the painting. We see the men standing with their outstretched arms. From the stance, facial expression, and clothes, we can know that they are warriors. They seem confident and assured and willing to sacrifice. When looking at the picture as a work of, as a whole work of art, however, we make art um, connections between the characters. When we look at the fighters, we see that they are complete opposites to the women. On the right. The fighters and women in this painting not only represent the connection between men and women and the conflict of gender, but also the conflict within ourselves, between our men with expressing emotions. I believe that the painting shows um, the conflict between our mind and emotions. As here we can see the men representing the man being standing firmly saluting, ready to go into battle. And over here, we see the woman representing her emotions um, being helpless and vulnerable. Thank you. Material signs were very helpful in my analysis of the painting because it helped me to understand the relation of each character to each other. The position of each character, I realized, was very important and it also helped to depict clearly what Sandra Bakusa was trying to say. The first material sign. As observed, Venus is located with an oval. This oval was seen drawn around Venus by the painting. This shows that Venus is actually the focal point of the painting and that she is the most important character within the painting. But as seen, the next compositional sign. Here I drew two axes. Why? Because when Analyzing the material side of this painting, I realized that the objects can be drawn based on how they relate to Venus, her navel, I saw this as a focal point, and also the center of the painting. So I wanted to analyze each character, the axis, in relation to the axis of Venus's navel, and also the axis of the center of the painting, because I saw them as very important. And during my analysis, this became, it became very important to me. Now, first axis is divided. Okay. It shows that, using Venus and Neil, it shows that the characters are located above Venus and Neil. The navel is at the mid center of Venus. But as seen in different and colors, most of their body is located above the axis along with Venus and Neil. And so, as Nora's body, most of it is located below. As seen, each character is on one side and the other character is on the other side. Also with the other axis now. This axis shows its and also the shell, which is very important in this painting. Also I drew was two circles. One circle has a center. This shows that her face 
is the closest to Venus. She is the closest character to Venus. And the similarity that is shared between each other is that both the larger circle, the face of Zephyrus is also located within the circle with Venus. Maybe a bit, a bit complicated to look at, but I will explain. Again, I use Venus's navel as the focal point, and I divided the painting into thirds. This is called the rule of thirds. It is used to show the important elements and show along which axis they lie on. Mm -hmm. oh, um, and in conclusion, the painting done by Sandra Battisoli shows, um, shows the creation of Renaissance. Called Renaissance is a combination of the belief of improving your physical abilities and also the belief of developing your spiritual abilities. And Sandra Battisoli displayed that in his painting, The Birth, the Birth of Venus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're actually frozen in lava. So they, they died. The visual technique used, a visual technique used was perspective as he did use different, different sections of the symbolizes the event was a day, it was a day of chaos. And so using the composition scheme of the spiral, it relates to it as the composition scheme uh, the spiral is lined with the lighting the angle of the lighting so uh, here we have the brighter sections coming up the focus of the light and in these areas were darker um, the painting was also uh, analyzed or drawn with the orb glass or the arches here being a darker section an upside down arch and the upside here showed the destruction and the trauma of the day with the darkness and when we had when i had turned the, this the image upside down, the arch was more visible. And then there was the grid. There was also a compositional scheme of lemonscape, which is the infinity, which he used to um, position the people in the sections. And it, the, however, this, this compositional scheme uh, contradicts with the title of the painting, The Last Day of Pompeii, as infinity means forever and beyond. However, the last day means the end, and there is no further to go. Um, in depth and iconic signs, the inlet signs and iconic signs that were um, presented or found the index signs, the destroyer, the connector, hope, chaos, faith, religion, strength, and the creator. Here, to focus on the connector, here we have this lady right here. This character right here showed a lady who was the central figure. She showed the connection between the two groups of people. It all in her image also her she is turned away. Um, the other the iconic signs protection family life transportation architect, architecture and landscape focusing on protection and family life. Here we see uh, children who are carrying their father. Um, here also is a which presents romanticism and other which in romanticism in Russian art. He is a Russian artist who uh, went to Rome to and did this piece and um, gave birth to a new era of era of art in Russia and Rome and bringing together and showing the social the social similarities 
between both states. Thank you. Irony of the Negro Policeman, painted by Jean Michael Basquiat. The aim of this task is to analyze this piece of art as a product of visual thinking. In 1981, Jean Michael Basquiat painted Irony of the Negro Policeman, a painting that is much deeper than just the oil, the acrylic and oil. The painting is a human figure with black skin wearing a white mask. It is a cartoon-like drawing with straight lines around the edges. These were the most helpful composition schemes. In the first picture, it shows how the painting moves from in the center, where the lines meet outward. The circle is right around the focus point, which is where all the lines meet. This is in the heart of the figure, like a stab. This represents the backstabbing of the Negro policeman to his race. The vertical and horizontal lines, which form a cross in his heart, in the heart of the painting, gives us a new perspective to look at. This is crucifixion. Crucifixion is an ancient form of execution in which a person was nailed to a cross. Basquiat positioned the figure on the canvas. Basquiat's position of the figure on the canvas is used to represent the indirect crucifixion of the blacks by white. The dark figure in the white surround shows isolation. This, the second picture, which has the circle, is serves as a new border, which also shows some form of isolation. In this scheme, we can also focus on the childish drawings of the artist. The cartoon-like figure is vivid along with the dull stream markings of barrier to the pure communication of his thoughts and feelings. When analyzing the index signs, because there is only one character in this painting, each part of it had to be analyzed separately first, then as a whole. The top hat worn by the victim represents the visual concept of death and death in the voodoo. His paw-like hands and feet of the fiction. His paw like hands and feet are signs of how black people are viewed by the white people as animals. The color like, the colorful cage like hat which frames the victim's diminished head represents, as Basquiat had said, how constrained the independent perceptions of African Americans were at the time. His face is like his face is like a mask, which acts like a cage imprisoning his identity. The mask expresses the visualism is shown to reveal the deepest controversies in black history. It also shows the black race's internalization of certain character characteristics, historically attributed to the whites, such as oppression, restriction, and control. The blue suit of authority he wears does not be commentary, but they have still have strong meanings. Basquiat uses the policeman as an irony, as he's enforcing the rules placed upon them by the whites showing how African Americans are controlled by the white majority in America. These racial in injustices were also faced by Basquiat, and his wife is somewhat in self portrait He also hinted crucifixion, which shows the torture the race was going through, the evident racism. The visual concept expressed in this painting is racism. Like completed, Basquiat painted Irony of the Negro Policeman. Initially, a work of art is presented in integrity structure by a compositional scheme, and as such, several schemes were constructed by means of careful and performed thinking in an attempt to find out why the artist positioned the elements of the painting the way he did. The first compositional scheme is the spiral. This fascinating composition with the use of the rim of the path immediately draws the viewer's eyes in a circular motion towards the focal center of focus, which is right here. And the spiral line starts at the bladers hairline, and it loops around her figure, where it meets just above her shoulders right here. And then it continues along the wrist of her hand. Mm -hmm. And then it fuses with the circular path of the top, which is right here. And then it comes up and crosses a bottom right here, where it leaves the, the scene. And this extensive use of the golden ratio in the form of a spiral showcases the artist's need to not only create an image that is in pretty, balance up and harmony, but also to make it most pleasing to the public's eye. 
The second compositional scheme is the S shape or the hook composition. This scheme shows how confined woman is in her space by means of the upper curve of the self in her and how difficult it was to retain balance. Thus the woman pose, the woman pose and symbolizes instability. Also, the shadow to be very well represents her close relatives and friends who are there to provide her with shelter and support by any means. This represents the concept of protection. The red orange here was once thought to symbolize joy, sunshine, and happiness, and as such, these attributes unite perfectly to bring about the concept of sexual passion and the thirst for action. What, as we know, symbolizes purification and the sponge and absorbing it. White is usually associated with light, goodness, faith, and safety, and as a result, it was the visual concept of a ray of hope. The chair, however, is something rigid and upright. Thus, is given the visual concept stability. This connection between its different elements, which form pairs, and in return, all the elements of the piece unite to bring the story to life. In the painting, Woman in the Top, we see a lot of iconic signs that help to bring across the message of the painting. Contributing to the cohesiveness of the composition is the last passing technique. With the chart, he transverse every outline, whether of the top, the bailer, or the join, join between the curtains and the cloth on the floor, in order to mitigate the disjuncture that the contours would otherwise create. Beholding the picture as a whole, all the elements appear unified by the orange shade of color seen dazzling about the room. And these are the connections that were made within the iconic signs. And turning focus to the woman in the back and the elements of the of the sea, elements of the room, which is the curtain, note several connections can be seen where the bouncing star effects of the curtains, shame and the space of the woman. It is assumed that the room represents the universe and is in resentment to the one's outcome. They come together to form a basic hidden impression that there is a before and after effect, as the flaming red here is the before and the posture of the exposed body is the outcome the audience dreads. It is not by chance the top is circular. The artist deliberately uses this shape to represent the woman in Painting from one standpoint showcases the, tapes, the stages of the life of a woman who is in the midst of cleansing herself of her past deeds and in attempt to bring about a positive change in her life. Therefore, the overall visual concept expressed by the painting is renewal of oneself. Her whole life is being washed away figuratively by the water in the tub to reach a state of purity. Thank you very much, Pastor Zabinimani.